Hey guys, what's going on? This is Fishman200 here, and today we'll be jumping in on Watchpoint Gibraltar as Reinhardt. Um, so, uh, this is a live commentary, so I apologize if my gameplay is not the best. I've got a lot of stuff I want to cover today, and I've just got it pulled up in a little notes thing in front of me, so the gameplay might not be the best. But um, <clears throat> So it's been a little while since I've put Overwatch on the channel. Um, I just, I've been doing other things, my computer hasn't been running it well, so I haven't really been enjoying playing it too much, um, but now my computer's doing a little bit better, um, and it's running somewhat smoothly, so I'm gonna play a little bit, let's see if we can get this, nope, can't get that road hard. Um, let's hop up here on the cart. Um, oh shit. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. And since the last time I uploaded anything, there have been a lot of things happening to Overwatch. Um, the uh, first and I think biggest change that uh, is the most noticeable is um, with Bastion. In one of the recent patches, Bastion got a huge buff. Um, he was reworked almost completely um, and just given uh, a whole bunch of new things. Um, I'm not going to go over all of them in this video um, just because they changed pretty much everything about him, but um, he's really powerful now. A lot of people play him. Um, so, yeah, he's very much in the meta at the moment. Um, My ultimate is almost ready. In the same update, they also added, um, like, custom game servers. So now you can search for a server that you can create on your own with custom rules and um, a bunch of different game modes that you can put in there. It's just something different that they added. Um, I've only played it a few times, but few games that I have played, I've really enjoyed. Oh, that was a huge Earth Shatter. Come on, team. Um, so I might put some of those new um, custom servers um, in some of my videos, uh, if I find a good one. Uh, so you might see some of that on here eventually. Um, the other just quick update that they did was to... That was a bad charge. The team just saved me. Um, was to the arcade. So, let me just explain this while I'm dead. Um, in the arcade, that's where the new custom servers option is. Um, they also added Capture the Flag, which was in the Year of the Rooster update. Um, they added it as a permanent game mode in the arcade, so now you can go to the arcade and choose to play Capture the Flag. I'm not too sure if they're going to put that in, like, the brawl section and it'll just kind of randomly happen, or if it's actually going to be a game mode you can play whenever you want. I think either would be really cool. Oh, shit. And Capture the Flag is always so much fun, so that would just... It'd be a good time, no matter what they decide to do with it. Um, the next thing I want to mention is upcoming stuff. There's a lot of stuff in the works over at Blizzard. Um, I think the biggest thing is probably... Oh, sorry, just gotta kill this junker real quick. Okay, now I'm dead. Whatever. Um, is the, I believe it's the 24th hero, Orissa. Uh, she's going to be a tank. She's, in my eyes, she's a combination of a bunch of different um, characters. Sorry, heroes, they're not characters. Um, because she's got... Uh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Fuck! Um, she's got a projected shield, which is a combination of Reinhardt's and Winston's 
uh, barriers. She also has a mini graviton surge. Um, she has tracking projectiles, um, which is kind of like Zarya's aiming type. Ah, uh, shit, we're gonna lose this round. Um, she looks like a really fun character to play. Uh, if you want to know more, you can check out patch notes, or, or there are a bunch of other people who go into de depth on all of her, um, all of her different abilities and strategies and playstyles and stuff like that. Um, so you can look at them. I'm not going to do a complete guide on her or whatever right now, but maybe in the future when she uh, actually gets released, I can do that. Um, coming along with her, they are planning on buffing Junkrat so his own explosives don't hurt him. Um, they're buffing Zenyatta, some of his cooldowns. I heard they were doing something with his Discord. And the biggest one is they are nerfing Ana. Originally, they were going to nerf her damage and her bionic grenade, but now I think they're just going to nerf her damage. Alright, so now we're moving on to uh, Lijong Tower. Um, there probably won't be too much of this game that I show you, because I'm going to have a few more things to talk about, but we'll see. Um, you might just get the first round, or I might show you all three. Um, or two, whatever, however many it takes. But um, moving on from the buffs and nerfs that are coming along with Orisa in a future update, probably in the next couple week or two. Um, season 3 ended uh, a little while ago. Um, in case anyone was wondering, I finished right about where I was for the whole season, which is around like 1900-ish. Um, so that was pretty good. I think I definitely could have done a little bit better if I had uh, focused it a little bit more. Oh, I get fucked, Mercy. Um, but it wasn't really my main concern. I made competitive more of a... Um, ow, that was lag. More of a special game mode than a normal game mode, so I didn't play it too often. Um, and with the end of Season 3, obviously, a week after that, uh, Season 4 began. And I did my competitive placement matches. Now these kind of bothered me a little bit. Um, I mained Reinhardt for the majority of my placement matches because Zenyatta wasn't working, and the team seemed to be doing much better when I played Reinhardt. Um, so, I played a lot of him. Fuck up. I know it's the cliche thing to say, but I feel like I carried the team pretty much every single game. Um, and because I was one of the only people doing things, uh, it kind of... The placement matches didn't go too well. Um, I ended up finishing the placement matches 7 and 3. Not 7 and 3, 3 and 7, sorry. Uh, it's a very different ending, but fuck, just whatever. As you guys might be able to tell, I can't do this whole reading, talking, and playing at the same time. It's just not working for me. But anyway, you'll have to deal with it, because that's what you're getting. Um, so I ended the placement matches 3 and 7, but I thought because I had seemed to um, be playing fairly well that my placement would have been higher than a 3-7 uh, win score. Um, turns out it wasn't. Um, so the placement, like my uh, skill rating was determined mainly by wins and losses as opposed to how I was performing. So instead of... I felt I was performing at at least a low gold, high silver tier, but... Shit, that was bad. Um, but according to Overwatch, um, I was performing at a much lower, almost bronze level. Um, so I ended with... Uh, 1550, which I am very disappointed in, um, and I'm hoping I can bring that up at some point, um, to something higher. I'm gonna need to find some guys to play with, um, know what they're
they're doing at all. Ryan or Zenyatta for them or whatever they need. Where the fuck did you go, Genji? Dead. Um, so that's season four. I will probably be probably be playing more of that this season than last season. Um, just because I'd like to get that up. And away from the 15, um, 15s. Get the fuck out of here, Genji. He's so hurt. He's so hurt. Oh, they all got rest. And this is pretty much how I was playing in my placement matches. Like, that ending right there where I was killing everybody, that's how I was playing during the placement matches. So I felt that was a little bit higher than low silver, almost bronze. But anyway, that was round one. I've been having a lot of fun playing Team Fortress 2 lately, um, but I'm not giving up on Overwatch, obviously, because I'm playing it right now. Um, so I think there'll be a much more even mix of content between the two in the future. Um, and that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. Um, if it was, I apologize, but that's going to be it for today. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. This is Fishman200, swimming away.